Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see all of you here. It's been a while. I know I took a six months needed break from posting and from most online activities. I had to attend to some health and family situations. I also got busy with local art uh, projects. So it all started at the end of last year with the holiday market. And through that, I was able to get into a gallery to show off my art, lots of fun. I also started teaching assemblage art classes and of course kept going with my projects. But I missed all of you and thank you to the ones who reached out trying to figure out what happened to me. I'm fine and I'm ready to get back to making more videos. So let me start by showing you some of my recent creations, including this chameleon. It started with a secondhand frame. I decoupaged some different papers for some texture. I added some lines with my Sharpie and then colored it with my acrylic paints and acrylic sprays to get this modeled look. Now, I do not have a process video for this one, but two more photos are coming up. So a very prominent feature of any chameleon are definitely his eyes. So I wanted to make sure that my eye can move. I gave it two pupils for two different looks and I believe it added that special interest. So here you can see how I started. I built up his body on a piece of strong paper using junk, broken jewelry, little toys, handyman bits, and so on. I made sure to leave room for an eye and I prepared these pieces to be added later on. When stacked together, they will provide a space for the eyeball to rotate freely without falling out. I then of course added color to the bead for the eye look and all this was added after I spray painted the fellow in black. Uh, to complete him, I of course used my metallic paints. I used some waxes for a nice finish. He's resting on a natural branch. His little feet were made from some flexible toy tires. He has a chain for a tongue and his tail was actually one of those spiral earrings. I really love this little fellow and I hope you like him too. But now on to the next project. I do have video footage for this one. So it started at the gallery when they were redecorating their hallway with jellyfish projects made by different artists and they asked me to join in. So I bought these two strainers at the dollar store. I cut them in half. I added a half circle of cardboard. I also evened out the shape using some tin foil and then decoupaged over everything with some tissue paper and watered down glue. That gave me extra strength and a much better surface to work on. After it was all dry, I reopened all those holes because those will come in handy later on. I then again worked with my stash of broken jewelry and bits and bobs to decorate these things. I use E6000 for the most part with a little bit of hot glue here and there. Now I do not cover this process completely as it's very long and very repetitious, but I believe that you'll get a good idea how I go about it. There will be some very good close-up shots later on of all the details. Now I am planning to do a few of these catch up videos where I can cover two projects in one. And I do hope that you will join in and watch the videos coming out over the next few weeks. So I'll let you listen to some music. I will be back chatting with you in a bit. And if there's anything you need to know in the meantime, it will be in the captions. Enjoy.
in the meantime, my background is all dry and I like the way it came out with a little bit of wood shining through here and there and the uneven coloring. I think it fits well with these alcohol inks, which are very bright. I stuck mostly with the pinks and the teals. Now my video is nearly at the end and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment. I would so like to hear from you. It has been a long while and I always appreciate your input. So next I sealed everything with a clear varnish and then of course I added the other elements using my E6000 and also some screws just to make sure everything was really stable. So this was a rather large project, a bit hard to film and fit on my desk here, but I'm happy with the outcome. I love the chains for the tentacles. I think it gives the whole piece some movement and I think uh, the background also adds to that feel. So next is one more close up look at the final product. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I hear from you. Please stay well, stay creative and come back to see me soon. Until then, bye bye for now.